also focus on one of the latest debutants of the Lal Street. Fed Fina uh, Financial Services, uh, Q2 was a good quarter for them actually. They just came out with a, an update a while back saying that the disbursement growth was very good. Assets under management has been strong as well. To discuss how the business momentum is, what's the outlook from here on, we have Anil Kothuri, who's the MD and CEO at Fed Bank uh, Financial Services. Uh, Anil, thanks a lot for joining in. You know, your disbursement growth was quite strong. Year on year, it's a 28% growth. Can you just break it up for us? Where did you see the maximum amount of demand in terms of gold loans, business loans, etc.? And what kind of sustainable disbursement growth are you looking at for the full year? Good morning. Yeah. So what we are seeing is a consolidation of the trend post-COVID where uh, people are taking more and more loans for working capital as confidence rebounds into you know, the small businessmen's uh, lives. Okay, so that's uh, a trend that we are seeing. We Our disbursals are up about 29-ish percent year on year, and that's a trend that will continue. Because the same time last year was uh, when we had just come out of COVID. So what we are seeing really is uh, a consolidation of that trend. Okay, so in terms of numbers, <clears throat> can you give me some numbers? What is the um, disbursement and AUM growth that we're targeting by the end of FY24 and FY25? So what we are saying is that um, a growth of between 25 and 30 percent in terms of AUM is achievable mm -hmm. and that will be on the back of a disbursal growth of about 30 ish percent. Now our disbursals are of two kinds. We have the gold loan disbursals which run off within about four or five months and we have installment loan disbursals which are more long term. Okay, what we're seeing is that the installment loan disbursals are growing at upwards of 30%. So therefore, you know, the bias is uh, closer to 30 than 25 in terms of AUM growth. Okay, all right. Hi, uh, sir. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining. And tell us, uh, you know, how your uh, mix will change as well. As of now, I can see mortgage and business loans, they are growing at a fair clip. Tell us, how, how does that fit in in terms of a mix, gold, as well as both these two? So uh, we have gold loans and non-gold loans, and the dynamics of growth of these two businesses are different. Gold loans are uh, dependent on the price of gold. And over the pa uh, past few months, we've seen an uptrend in the prices of gold. So as long as that continues, there's an upward bias in terms of uh, the AUM there. The non-gold uh, portfolio will be weighted uh, in favor of our small mortgage business because that has the largest behavioral tenor in terms of uh, eight years, whereas the rest of the businesses run off between three and four years. So by and by, you'll see that the small mortgage business will keep trending up from the current uh, proportion of 25% and it should keep inching up uh, quarter on quarter. That's the guidance. And what happens to gold really depends on the price of gold in that specific quarter. We are currently at about 33-ish percent. That should trend down to about 28-ish percent, 28-ish percent over the next year as the installment loan disbursals and AUM growth picks up. Mm. Mr. Katuri, hi. Morning, Prashant here. I mean, uh, so your loan book is at about 10,000 uh, crores or so, right? Uh, is there? Uh, is is there a ceiling or so till where you know you can do uh, you can grow at a pretty fast clip and then uh, so I was speaking with another uh, bank uh, CEO and they said well fifteen thousand crores is uh, is essentially that number uh, to their mind where you can kind of continue to grow at a pretty fast clip and then you know things start to moderate it gets a little more trickier you're at ten thousand crores just wanted your thoughts on that sir. Uh <clears throat> so there are two ways of looking at growth. AUM growth is really an outcome of all that you do at work. Okay? The way we measure ourselves and really the, what determines our growth are the input variables, which is the number of locations that we are in business, the number of branches that we have, and the number of people producing on a daily basis. Okay? That output does not need to change materially for us to maintain our current growth rates. Okay. At some point in time, you will like need to add people and capacity to, 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 to you know, maintain these growth rates. But at this point in time, given the long tenor of the loans that we originate, I think uh, there's, no, uh, there's not a great increase in uh, input that is required to achieve the desired output. Okay. Finally, is there a scope to improve your asset quality further? Our asset quality has stayed flattish as at about 2.3%. Okay. Yes. And uh, we believe that over the next two years, as the environment stays benign and stays conducive to growth, 
asset quality should improve from here on. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, final question then before we let you go. I recall you telling us that because you'll have raised some capital, the cost of funds will come down, which will help your NIMS as well gradually improve. So give us an outlook on the NIMS and your cost to income as well. It's likely to decline. I think it was at around 60% odd. You had hinted that it moves down from year on. So by the end of FY24, how will both these two numbers look like? FY24 is barely a quarter away. So there will not be a substantial change in our cost to income. But over the medium term, what's going to happen is that we will realize uh, two kinds of benefits. One is of greater uh, proportion of capital funding the assets. So as a consequence, the NIMS will mathematically trend up. That is number one. And the second thing is that uh, as our operations continue to be efficient and we achieve greater scale, our cost to income will improve. So I think over the next year and a half, our cost to income should improve by four or five percentage points. So that's uh, a trend that uh, we will try and uh, build too. And uh, our NIMS should, uh, uh, our spreads will stay flattish and the NIMS will improve to the extent of the capital that we have. All right, uh, we will leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in and giving us a, you know, an update on the business. That's a 25 to 30% AUM growth that's achievable for FY24. Uh, and they're saying, Fedfina is saying that the asset quality will continue to improve as well.